What's going on everybody? It's easy doing another Clash of Clans video. This is the Dragon event. Got some lower town hall levels for everybody. I think uh, I think most people start using dragons around town hall seven. So we got a couple town hall seven attacks, a couple town hall eight and nine. And we can use dragons all the way up to town hall eleven now, which is a lot different than it used to be. Dragons were not used anywhere past really town hall eight. Once you got into town hall nine. The, the air defenses were too tough now you can use the dragons with uh, the archer queen walk and you can use them all the way up into town hall 11 now we have a bunch of replays from the clan that were in town hall 10 and 11 so but i wanted to do this one on the on the lower town hall levels just to kind of show everyone the basics of it uh dragons aren't really um do you, uh, okay let's put it this way i don't use them all by themselves so, being a Town Hall 11 myself, I have to use them with the Archer Queen walk or some kind of walk. That way I can disable some of the defenses, mainly the air defenses. The Clan Castle troops or the Queen. Uh, fortunately for most people that use dragons, you don't have to, you don't really have to take out the Clan Castle troops. The dragons can do that pretty much well on their own. But, in Town Hall 11, you have some other obstacles that are really, really bad <laughs> for dragons. Uh, all troops. Uh, that's the Eagle Artillery, that's the, that's the Infernal Towers. Before we get into that though, heard a, I've been hearing a lot of talk about the Goblin King. Just want to touch base on it. I didn't. I started looking through the very last um, level of Sherbet Towers. I heard that there was something going on with the Goblin King. Is he coming into the game? Is he going to be just part of the Christmas update and just kind of a, you know, an added feature that doesn't really impact the game other than in that one little time during Christmas or is there going to be some kind of change in the game and so it's all speculation at this point but I've heard a bunch of different theories one of them is that that we may get enough some more single-player mode map how do you say that make it make it some more options in the single-player mode um, I've also heard that they may start adding clan castle troops, maybe the goblins or some something on the lines of that. I, I don't know. We haven't had, ever since I've started playing, we've had that, that one map. Most people get through it by the time they're Town Hall 8. Uh, and that's it. So that would be an interesting little added feature. Okay, this 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 attacks by Alm. He is one of the original founders of, of the clan, Damage Inc. Um, taking his time... He has not he has not been pushing through these town hall levels like everyone else has he's now a, a maxed out town hall 9 just went to town hall 10 but he's still got the town hall 9 troops uh, attacking the town hall 9 here big base I mean this this is a hefty base to attack uh, now the walls weren't maxed but everything else was so you well actually I'm looking at crossbow it's not max either because you know, I guess I'm a liar <laughs> um, now so something you have to consider when, when farming with the dragons because there's all kinds of things that you look for in a base and one of the things you look for especially in the higher town hall levels town hall uh, 10 and 11 is you're looking for dead bases because that means they don't have do uh, that they don't have inferno towers they may not have the eagle artillery but remember if you are using dragons or if you're using any kind of air troop the air defenses will never be disabled unless they're upgrading so you always have to be mindful of them so there are several ways that you can ma that you can manage these air defenses one way is the, how I what I mentioned before, and that's using the kill squad or using the archer queen with healers, and penetrating into the base and taking out some of the air defenses that way. Now another way, uh, let's go back up real quick. This is Dave Town Hall Eight. He is almost a max Town Hall Eight now, kind of uh, experimenting with all the new attacks, and so he's putting in like this mass kind of spammy dragons from the bottom, but then following it up with the balloons. And this is what this is how you want to maybe not exactly in this manner, but this is how you want to attack with dragons. You want to use the dragons, you let them tank for the balloons, uh, and then once they get close to the air defenses, either use uh, rage spells if it's just the dragons, or haste or rage spells if there's balloons nearby. And you want you want to use some kind of spell to get them over the air defenses. After that, then the dragons can pretty much handle it on their own. Okay, so back to some of this other stuff. Uh, so. 
to, to, to help out the dragons because air defenses are stronger than dragons at every town hall level. Maxed air defenses for town hall 7, 8, 9, 10, they will beat dragons if, if you don't do anything to help them. So if you put in, let's say in town hall 8, I think you can put in eight, 10 dragons. If you put in 10 dragons, bring one more in the clan castle troop, uh, there's a very good chance you won't take out the base because just dragons alone just don't do it. But you start adding in other features like the balloons uh, or the zap quake or uh, a kill squad. Uh, and the kill squad, the, I mean, if you don't know what a kill squad is, watch some of the other videos. We go into it a bunch and, on every video, pretty much. <laughs> um, but anyway, you, you want to take the kill squad, you want to take the queen, you want to take, you want to take out these air defenses. Uh, your best chances of success against against the dragons will be to take out at least one air defense, possibly two. And what we did here is we had creeper. In this case, it's his one of his many accounts, stalker. And this is this goes to show you just how difficult it can be using dragons. This attacker here, they, they take out the two back end um, air defenses, so they're thinking they get through the two front end air defenses, and they'll have their way with the entire base. Uh, they use almost all their spells on two two different zap quakes. Zap quakes are two lightning spells and one earthquake spell. But you you put their put the earthquake spell first because the earthquake does a percentage of damage. So if you do the two lightning spells first, there's only a certain percentage left. And sometimes if, if, if you haven't maxed out your lightning and they have maxed out the air defenses, that, that zap quick won't work unless you use the earthquake first. So always use it first. So he, he zap quicks the two back end um, air defenses. Then he comes in with all dragons, no support at all. And because there were no balloons to go in f to, to kind of... Um, you put the balloons in behind the dragons, but they will actually fly over the dragons because they are not going for anything but defenses. So as the dragons are cleaning out the trash buildings, cleaning out all the other buildings, then the balloons will fly over and end up on the air defenses and take out the air defenses. In this in this case here, this player did not do that, and he's going to get rewarded for my favorite, my favorite thing, the 49%. <laughs> Which is if I've, I've recorded my last 20 war attacks about at least uh, 45% I've been 49% So that yeah, that shows you how much I'm struggling lately and more Which is why we're not doing war recaps right now <laughs> Okay, so next one new player in the clan fairly new at least Using another dragon attack during the dragon event the dragons were, were, were really cheap so you know th these are it's kind of hard to justify farming with them because if you're because they will cost as much elixir as you're pretty much going to get now if you are if you have tons of elixir and you're just going for dark elixir uh, dragons are, are pretty steady that they, they, they'll get you to the core pretty much every time as long as you help them out with the spells or with uh, the kill squad and another really important thing to do with dragons and, and this goes for most attacks but especially dragons because because there's only 10 or 11 troops and they're big they're they're sturdy they do a lot of damage but their ai is such that they will go around the outside of the base they won't penetrate the base unless you force them for whatever reason if you give them a chance at all to go around the outside of the walls they will so you have to funnel these troops in other words you're going to have to start off at the two corners of a wall and you're going to take out those two corner build all the, all those trash builds on the outside of the wall on the two corners and once they're cleared out then you can put the, the, the rest of your dragons in between that and that will give them a good pathway to get inside the base instead of putting one giant line in right at one time because what can happen is they'll end up taking out the all the outer line of trash buildings and then they'll follow suit and kind of go you know they won't go forward a lot of times they'll go left and right and then you'll end up having the dragons go all the way around and they'll take out everything on the outside and they'll leave the core which a lot of times the core when you're farming it's going to be the Dark Elixir, it's going to be the Town Hall, and in war, it's going to be Town Hall most of the time. So this is definitely something, a troop that you're going to have to practice funneling with. And also, I don't know if you've been watching how much damage that those Clan Castle balloons did, but just a Clan Castle full of balloons literally took out 25% a, a of the base. And that's six troops took out 25% of the base, and there's still a balloon left at the end. So these are compatible troops. You have to use the balloons with the with the dragons. It's 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 a must. 
now this is kind of a short video uh, got got this and one more I want to show you one more kind of funny funny thing at the end but uh, this is a niche this is a niche too. Uh, his mini account another war attack this is a great attack now he a niche has this down he's got uh, he's got the theories of of several attacks down including dragons uh, I believe this is town hall 8 but he is past town hall 8 on his main account so he's already gone through the cycle of dragons I, I think everyone uses dragons for at least town hall 7 and 8 because those are going to be your, your big war troops in Town Hall 7 and Town Hall 8. And if you notice, he's taken out these two corners first. And he's got a big giant pack of dragons right there in the middle. I don't know if it's a pack or a flock. <laughs> a flock of dragons. Eh, that's kind of ridiculous. Anyway, so you notice that, that in order to funnel, he had to, he had to put in the, the dragons in the two corners first. And by putting in the dragons in the corners first, he pushed the, every dragon he had into the core of the base. And now they're going to go from the inside out and he's got the balloons going around the outside kind of uh, but there's a big circle of defenses kind of around town hall but he was able to get into the core and then go around this big circle with the balloons so I mean, it couldn't have worked out any better and and this is not as easy as it looks I know these are all three stars and they're all kind of dominant attacks and they may look simple but if you're just starting out and you're just getting dragons and you think you're gonna put those green dragons in and they're just gonna wipe every base, they're not. They're gonna they're gonna be really tough to use at first. You have to be mindful of the funnel. Definitely watch out and try to get those troops into the base, not run the outside. And you do that by starting off in the two corners. So remember, with dragons, you start off in the two corners. Also, make sure you bring balloons. And another thing I wanted to mention is, you notice how all these troops are are, are flying out to the corners? Well, if they had a builder's hut in all four corners you make sure you 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 leave one balloon off or one dragon off and you bring at least five archers to get those four corner um, get those four corner builder huts so I thought I was on the wrong I'm not gonna delete that out I thought I was on the wrong thing and look at this struggle that I've had um, I've been trying to use night witches and just <laughs> not had the best time with it had you know I either three star or 25% and this is why though <laughs> um, People that use night witches, I didn't know it at the time, but the person who's attacking me had max night witches. So therefore he sees the problems and he sees how to defend against night witches. So what he had done is he had set up his base to defend against night witches and he set a trap up top. I have never seen this before. So as all my as all the bats are coming down, they're getting picked off by these air targeting little bombs. And then as the witches make their way down, one mega mine takes them all out. And look at what that mega mine is. Talk about manipulation of, of, of pieces on the base, and and just knowing where people what people are gonna do. Because you know you have you have to put those witches in the corner to build up the bats. And he gave you a nice easy piece to put in the corner too. And bam. And I'm, for the record, I've put that on my base, and no one's done it yet. <laughs> okay, a short video. Wanted to keep this one kind of short. I've made a bunch of long ones, so hope you enjoyed the video. Thinking about making the next dragon video uh, this evening or tomorrow. It's going to be on Town Hall 10 and 11. Show up one that you can three star with Town Hall 10 and 11 with dragons. So sub to the channel if you haven't already. I appreciate everyone for watching. Till next time, it's been easy.